So to prepare for adding and subtracting with uncommon denominators, we're first need, we first need to focus on least common multiples. And that's going to help us find a common denominator, which I'll talk more about in another video. But this video, I just want to focus on finding the least common multiple between two numbers. Okay, so first off, least means smallest. Common, uh, we could say that's going to mean the same. And a multiple, now a multiple is kind of the result of a multiplication problem. So if you're multiplying by a number, um, multiplying a number by an integer or, an, or another number, um, then you're going to get um, what's called a multiple of that number. And I know that sounds confusing. Um, another way to describe this is we are, um, it's kind of similar to counting by a number. So like if we're doing, uh, we're counting by twos, we're going to go two, four, six, eight, ten, and so on. We're counting by twos. So each of these numbers are multiples of two. And the way I know that is because I'm taking this product two. I get that by multiplying two times one. This four is because I'm multiplying two times two. And the six is made because I've multiplied two times three, and so on. So the eight is two times four, and the 10 comes about because I've multiplied two times five. So all of these numbers, two, four, six, eight, 10, and so on, are multiples of two, okay? And so we're, we're basically counting by that number that we've specified. So that's what multiples mean. Now, least common multiple, or sometimes you'll see it um, as LCM, least common multiple, is a way to find a number or a multiple that two numbers share, but it's going to be the smallest number that they both share. And so we're going to go over some examples just so you kind of get the hang of what I'm talking about here. So let's say we've got two numbers, two and three, and we want to find the least common multiple. Well, the first thing is we want to list off multiples of each number. And we don't want to list off too many, but we want to list off enough so that we get an idea of where they have a common multiple. So I'm going to suggest we just go out five multiples. Okay, now you're always going to start out with the number that's given because that would be 2 times 1 or 3 times 1. So we want to start with the multiple when we multiply it by 1. So we're going to have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And I've gone out in five places. Now I can continue, but I'm going to stop at 10. So 2 times 1, 2 times 2, 2 times 3, 2 times 4, 2 times 5. These are all multiples of 2. Now let's do the same for 3. And again, we're going to start with 3 times 1, which is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12. And 3 times 5 is 15. And again, we could go on, but I'm going to stop there. So what we want to do is look for common multiples, okay? And we can, we'll worry about this least part last, but first, let's find common multiples. Don't have a two, no fours, but it looks like we've got some sixes here six in each. Eight, ten, nope. 
Now, I know that if I had gone one more, like 2 times 6, I would have gotten a 12. And in that case, I would have had another set of common multiples. Now we want to go back to this word, least. Least means smallest, or another way to describe this is lowest. So the lowest number that they share, which is going to be 6. That's our least common multiple. So least common multiple will be 6. Let's do a couple more examples. Let's say we have 4 and 8. So 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 4 is 16. And 4 times 5 is 20. Now I'm going to do 8's. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. 8 times 4 is 32. And 8 times 5 is 40. Now we want to look for our common multiples. I have 8's. Looks like I have 16's. And if I had written down one more multiple of 4, I would have had 24s. But I'm going to stop here. Notice I have two numbers that are the same for each, two multiples that are the same. But again, I want to focus on the smallest of the common numbers. So the least common multiple is going to be 8. Let's do another one. Let's say we have 5 and 10. Let's go out more than just 5 multiples. Let's go out uh, 7 multiples and let's see where that takes us. So 5, 10, 15, 20, that's 5 times 4 is 20. 5 times 5 is 25, 30, and 35. So 5 times 7 will give me 35. Now we're going to do the 10s. And the 10s are going to be pretty easy. We're going 10 all the way to 70. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Now, what I could have done is stopped at 40 because I'm not going to have a number larger than 35 if I'm just looking at these uh, seven multiples. Let's again look at our common multiples. I'm going to go ahead and circle them. So basically it's going to be any number that ends in a zero. And in this case, it looks like we have three different multiples that they both share. But the smallest one is going to be the 10. So that's the least common multiple. Whoops. Least common multiple. And that's going to be 10.